Hello guys and welcome to Zone of Texas Daniel and uh, today I have a really really cool app to show you. It's called Solar Walk. You probably know this app because uh, it's been in the app store for like the past two years I think. But now it's free for a couple of days so this is really really cool. Okay so basically this app is an uh, astronomy app a science app and here you have the earth here you have uh, the localization function but it only well, it doesn't work yeah it only shows you where you are uh, on which planet you are and not the city which uh, kind of sucks in my opinion but what it's really cool about it is that uh, whoops sorry for the camera is that you can change the time of the earth just by spinning this wheel. So that was the minutes, uh, the hours, the date, and even the year. So you can basically, you know, fast forward through time and see how the Earth looked like. <coughs> sorry, looked like in uh, in the past or even in the future, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Whoops! <laughs> I just want to stop this. Whoa! Stop! 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 Okay, here we go. I can zoom in. Even uh, read a couple of cities, but again, this is not Google Earth, so you cannot uh, you cannot uh, zoom in as much as you want. So these are the cities, as you can see. Let's zoom out a bit. Now, what else can you do with this app? Well, you can search for planets in this solar system which is pretty cool as well so well, let's check out uh, I know Mars and Mars has a surprise for you I don't know if you can see it but <laughs> here it is this is curiosity on Mars which is pretty cool so you can see where uh, curiosity is on Mars live which again is amazing in my opinion <clears throat> then you can also search again for all uh, planets and even comets also asteroids in our solar system which again is pretty cool as well now let's check out Neptune this is how it looks like Neptune is uh, the biggest planet in our solar system it looks really cool you can even uh, see its satellites which uh, in this case are uh, Larissa and Proteus so it's really cool you can even see their axis. So the paths. <clears throat> now, what else? You can zoom out as much as you want. You can even zoom out of the galaxy. And now you can see the Milky Way galaxy. But unfortunately, this is the only galaxy you can see. So you just cannot um, go through other galaxies, unfortunately. And uh, now let's go to another planet. And again, another disadvantage of this app is that you cannot click an individual uh, star because uh, it won't take you to that star. So, you know, it's pretty cool, but not, you know, it's not that amazing because the only thing that you have in this app is basically your own solar system. So that's all. Now, uh, let's go to our solar system. That's the sun. And this is, yeah, this is Neptune. Now, let's go to dwarf planets and asteroids. So these are uh, the satellite, satellites, sorry. Basically, some of them, but not all of them. Whoa, this one looks interesting. Whoa, this looks like an egg. Whoa. <laughs> I never I never knew this one uh, existed. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and this one looks exactly like an egg. Angry birds, maybe? Who knows? <laughs> okay, let's uh, check something else. You can also check for uh, comets, which again is pretty cool. So uh, these are, this is a comet. It's called Barley. I think that's uh, the way you pronounce it. Now, uh, what I haven't shown you about this app is that you can click the I button, which stands for information. You can click this Did You Know? And it tells you some different uh, 
you know, facts about uh, the planet you're, uh, you're viewing. And uh, every time you click this button, it will show you a different, uh, a different fact, which is, again, pretty cool as well. Now, if you click this, uh, this button, the book button, it gives you general information about uh, the comet or the planet that you are uh, viewing, which, again, is, is really cool in my opinion. But, I know, I think the best, uh, the best uh, feature of this, <laughs> of this app is that you can scroll to time, which is amazing in my opinion. But what I don't like about this app is that you cannot uh, go to a particular time in the past. So, let's say if I want to go to 16, uh, year 16, which is a long way in the past, I have to just scroll down to year 16, which uh, would take me about, I don't know, a few minutes to do that, which is, you know, which is not that great. Now, uh, you can also check uh, satellites in our solar system, which uh, again is amazing. I'm just going to lock focus on my camera. Here we go. So you can check for satellites as well. So let's check for Hubble. So this is the Hubble satellite. Uh, sorry. I'm just going to... Yeah, here we go. Just a second. Sorry, I'm uh, recording with my iPad because I do not have a uh, camera, fortunately. Anyway, uh, this is the Hubble telescope. This is how it looks like. You can even zoom in and see all of the details of the Hubble telescope. Uh, oh, and everything you see in this app is rendered in real time. So, uh, as you see the Earth here, it's darker, meaning that it's night. And this is in real time. And when you go here, it's day. So again, this is in real time. Okay, what else? Uh, well, I forgot to show you that. If you click the I button again, you have the exact same uh, buttons on each of uh, the planets and even telescopes. So it's pretty cool that you can um, read certain information about it. Tips, again. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Then uh, you can also check the ISS. Now, ISS stands for International Space Station, and it's the biggest space station on Earth, which is hu huge. I mean, it's really huge. So, for example, this has a size of a football field. Honestly, it really has. Did you know? So, the uh, 52... No, not that one. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Anyway, you, you can read this, uh, these uh, facts if you want to. I uh, read here that this one, the ISS, is uh, as big as a football field, including uh, the place where you sit. I don't know how you, how you call them, but it's as big as an entire football field. Uh, so yeah, it's really huge. I don't know if I can zoom in. Well, I can, but not as much as I wanted to. Anyway, you can also look for geography. So, Moon, Mars, let's go to Moon. Let's go to, these are craters, by the way. Uh, Blackett. And this is the Blackett crater. Now, unfortunately, it's nighttime, so you cannot see much of it. So, let's go through time. And, uh... Yeah, this is the dark side of the moon, unfortunately. No, it's not Transformers. But yeah, it's the dark side of the moon, and you cannot see anything there. Uh, so sorry about that. And you can also check out stars, which is pretty cool. So uh, Sirius is the brightest star in um, our galaxy. Yeah, this is actually true. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how the way you can see this uh, the star on uh, the sky at night I have an app for that yeah <laughs> of course but uh, you know there's no way you could uh, miss it because it's the brightest star in our galaxy and again if you click the eye it tells you some uh, 
oh so here just to tell you some figures because um, obviously it has no facts to tell you fortunately I mean it could tell you that it's the brightest star in the galaxy but it doesn't so you have to take my word for that <laughs> and this is the menu uh, you could click uh, this array and it repositions uh, the planet in movies let's see let's check out uh, zodiac uh, zodiacal constellations I have no idea how to pronounce that zodiacal constellations where are they located the earth revolves Oops, around sorry. the sun on its own orbital plane the plane in which the earth orbits the sun is called the ecliptic the e Okay, you get the idea. Sorry. So you get the idea. You have different movies you could watch. They're not a lot, uh, but they're pretty cool and uh, educational to watch. Then you have this uh, settings panel, and yes, you do have a 3D mode um, if you have glasses, but unfortunately, I do not have um, cyan, cyan red, I think, yeah sign red glasses at all I only have magenta green glasses so uh, yeah that kinda sucks and you can also connect uh, this uh, app to your TV by using an Apple TV so yes yeah, so this app supports airplay on the iPhone 4s and the iPhone 5 so only those devices support uh, airplay unfortunately and of course the iPod touch 5 the iPad 3 and uh, newer devices and if you click help it uh, it gives you some uh, different apps for uh, the iPhone which you can check out and even buy from the App Store okay so that was basically it so uh, thank you guys for watching this video be sure to like it if you like it also be sure to comment leave me a comment because I will answer all of your comments subscribe to my channel for more videos because this motivates me on making more videos for you guys because by the way in the past few days I didn't have views at all I only had like 40 views per video which is which is awful so uh, please guys uh, subscribe if you if you like my videos and uh, you know see you in the next video and uh, as always cheers